Good Monday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise out there this morning. And you can see we've got some light rain falling around the area after we had a lot of moderate to heavy rainfall over the uh, overnight hours last night. Right here at the Weather Center, we ended up getting just under two inches of rainfall from yesterday through the overnight period. So certainly some much needed rain has fallen in the area and it will continue to fall today as we've got this slow moving front that is back off to our west that is continuing to just uh, push moisture into the area out, out ahead of it. And you can see we've got pockets of moisture building in front of this or along this front and uh, moving across. And as it does, we'll continue to see moisture activity get pulled in from the Gulf and off the Atlantic as well, giving us the opportunity to get some additional much needed rainfall again today. We could see anywhere from, I'd say a uh, half an inch to an inch of rainfall around the county today, depending on your location. And some areas locally could get more than that uh, with pockets of heavy rain moving over uh, because these systems are moving very slowly. These cells as they come across are moving very slowly it's because the front's moving very slowly. So they don't have a lot pushing them along and uh, it gives us uh, the chance for some very beneficial rainfall falling. It's 70 degrees to start the day at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury and we've got temperatures in the upper 60s, low 70s around the county. Boone coming in at 64 this morning and you see some 72s out there as well around the area. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll get a word from our friends at Visit Rowan County. We'll come back and we'll give you the five-day forecast and more right after this. When you're ready to travel, let's give it another go. Weather Impacts for today, sponsored by Patterson Farm. The virtual tour is going on right now. And you can uh, get details on how to book your tour by visiting pattersonfarm.com. We'll see widespread showers and thunderstorms possible throughout the day. Not a washout, simply meaning it's not going to rain every minute of the, of the day. And uh, winds will be out of the northeast at around five miles an hour. Rainfall amounts of a half an inch to an inch if possible. Could see higher amounts locally with thunderstorms. The Pollen Outlook sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine straw, and other various services. For more information on services provided, give them a call 980-521-1937. Main pollen drivers are grasses, plantain, and chinopods. And you can see we've got low levels of activity in terms of pollen for the first half of the week and medium levels moving in for the last half of the week as rain chances start to diminish. The mowing forecast, got a red light out there today, mainly because your lawn's pretty soaked right now and we've got some additional rainfall coming in. Again, it's not gonna rain every single minute of the day today, but it will certainly rain a lot during the day today. Uh, we'll see those rain chances start to diminish as we get to the late afternoon and evening hours. And then uh, for Tuesday and Wednesday, got the yellow light out there, could see some uh, isolated to scattered rain showers going on around the area and the county on Tuesday and Wednesday. Not enough to keep you from doing anything outside, but certainly enough to make you want to stay weather aware and keep your eyes to the sky. The mosquito forecast extreme levels are bookending the uh, week here with Monday and Friday having extreme levels. And then in the, in the middle sections of the week, we've got high levels for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And the five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. Today, we'll see a 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. High of 78, low of 66. No concern for severe weather at this point with these storms as they come through today. We'll see a 50% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. High of 80, low of 66. On Wednesday, we'll see partly sunny skies during the day. High of 87. We'll get those 
uh, summertime pop-up showers and thunderstorms that develop during the day on Wednesday and heading into the afternoon and evening hours. We'll see a low of 68 with a 30% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. On Thursday, a 30% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Basically, again, the pop-up variety that happened from the heating of the day. We'll see 90 for the high, 68 for the low. And the rain chances, as I said, will pick up as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. And then on Friday, a 30% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms once again. Building from the heating of the day in the afternoon and evening hours, high of 90, low of 69. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. That's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Monday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.